Now we got this negative square root stuff. Now this one's good because um, really we can we can show a phantom one right there. Kind of like the 10. So it's just negative 1 times whatever we can pull out of this square root of 8 stuff. So 8, we can using method 1, this would be 4 and 2. And 4 is a perfect square. So we can rewrite this as negative 1 times the square root of 4 and 2. Now this is method 1, so I didn't use all the prime factorization. And then we can rewrite that as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square uh, negative 1, rather. And then we would have negative 1 and the square root of 4 is 2. So multiply that and then multiply this by the square root of 2. And negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 times the square root of 2. We get out of 1127.